Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna try the charcoal and glue nose peel thingamabob. Now I'm sure you might have seen this on Instagram or other YouTube videos, and I wanted to try it for myself. So I have my rattle shower coming up, my wedding, and I'm gonna eat my face to look flawless. So you know those little tiny dots that you might have on your nose? Those are all of your clogged pores. So we're going to unclog them using Elmer's glue and charcoal. Sounds weird, but it seems to work. Now this will be my first time trying this, so I could be someone that's like, oh, let me perfect it and then I'll do a video on it. But I'm like, let's just do it. I've got my Hakuna Matata shirt on, so that means no worries for the rest of your days, actually. Okay, so let me bring in my handy dandy table, <laughs> AKA my laundry basket, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you're going to need to do this nose peel. So I have a hair clip, that is for me. That is not part of the mask. So all you're gonna need is some Elmer's glue. Literally the glue that you used to play with as a child, we're using it again in our adult years. So this one says it's safe and non-toxic. Don't use anything weird and toxic that could like kill you. Just use, you know, good old Elmer's, okay? Then you're also gonna need some charcoal. Now the funny thing about this DIY is that a lot of people are like, oh, it's DIY, you stuff that you have at home. Why would I just have charcoal tablets at home? So I did have to go to Walmart, got this at Walmart, got this at Walmart, both there a couple of bucks. But turns out the charcoal is used for anti-gas. Whatever. So this one says it's uh, 260 milligrams each. The ones I was actually looking for were in that yellow and green bottle that a lot of girls have used, but that Walmart just didn't have those. But these are the same, but they're larger um, pills. So we're not gonna use as many. We're just gonna use one. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, these are pink. It says activated charcoal. We're just gonna try this and see what happens to my face. Sorry, my hair is killing me. I'm gonna, gonna resort to the good old scrunchie. So if you can see, I have a small bowl, my Elmer's glue, and my charcoal capsules. And we're also gonna need uh, a foundation brush. This is just a dirty e.l.f. $3, maybe $1 brush set I use for my masks. Uh, use something you don't care about because the glue is probably gonna glue it shut, so don't use like a Sigma brush or a MAC brush. We need those. So something cheap, or we could just use a spoon. So now I'm gonna pour some of my glue. No, I don't really like to measure, so just gonna use that much. Some people do like to do this on their entire face. I'm just gonna start off with my nose and maybe my chin. So we don't need that much. If you wanna do your whole face, you're gonna need some more glue and some more tablets. So now let me get these tablets. And we're going to open the pill. Oh yes. Since this is all charcoal, you're gonna pour it out. Pour it out of these pills and it should be a black powder. If it's not a black powder, I don't know what you bought. So here's a close up of the powder in the glue. Now I'm gonna get my brush once again and we're gonna mix it all together until it's one consistent paste. So I noticed that it came out a little bit gray and I think it's supposed to be more black. So I did decide to add one more pill of charcoal just to get a darker black color. Okay, so now that my concoction is complete, I'm now going to remove my makeup from my nose. I mean, I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. Here we go. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is kind of fun. So I have noticed that in my little pan, it looks a little bit more gray, but once you apply it to your skin, it's definitely black. So now I'm gonna leave this on until it is completely dry. That could be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, who knows? This is my first time trying it. So once it dries, I will come back and we will see the results. Okay, so it has now been a little less than 15 minutes and this sucker is hard. It is not going anywhere, completely dry. And you wanna do it slowly so you could pick up all the blackheads. Oh, baby hair. Oh. 
don't see too much on my chin. Maybe I didn't have any. Slow and steady wins the race. So it definitely picked up a lot of my, I guess, little baby hairs. I don't see too much. It's making me wonder if I have a lot of blackheads in the first place now, which I really thought I did. My skin is very, very, very soft. So maybe it did do something. I need to find another nose. <laughs> Royce, I need your nose. Really quick. And here lies the fine specimen sleeping in its natural habitat. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Oh, we've awakened him. She don't ask questions. I just need your nose. No. All right, I'm now going to go in for the second nose peel. Here we go. I'm just going to apply a little bit on the nose. Oh, yes, it's okay. <laughs> don't ask any questions. What are you doing? I'm making you beautiful, just take it. Now we're going to let this sit for 20 minutes. Time's up. Let's take off the nose peel. Ooh. Freedom. Freedom. Oh, he's... Don't cry. Just <laughs> make my eyes Don't water. cry, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, they weren't amazing. I think it kind of did its job. I probably was just expecting like extreme extractions. Maybe my nose is just cleaner than I thought. I have been using a blackhead exfoliator, so maybe it's helping. I still think you guys should give it a try and leave me a comment if you have done it before you plan to. And let me know your results. One thing I did plan on doing, which I forgot to do, was to steam my nose with a hot cloth so I kind of open my pores first. That might make a difference, so I would suggest trying that if you are going to try this DIY. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. And if you want to suggest that I do some other type of DIY, whatever, let me know what you want me to try next and I'll give it a go. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.